Right. And then it's interesting how you still saying falling after he mentioned falling because now we hear it differently. Because if you're falling in love, well, based on what my dad said earlier, if you fall, if you if you fail in love or falling in love, then it's still the fall. Right. So can we expect goodness to come out of the fall? Never. Right. Well, and I love that question. I love that question, Dre, because I, I mean, I seriously asked that question and, and some folks would say it's semantics, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, right? But if you think about it, what fall have you ever seen anyone take and not try to embrace themselves for what was coming? Right. No exactly. one has seen it because it doesn't happen. In fact, science even suggests that children are born with one fear, infants. Now they're saying two but one fear, and that is to feel fear of falling. We see it all the time. You throw a baby up in the air, the f they, 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 they cringe, yeah. they, they, what is it? What's happening? You could take a baby and turn them all around when they're toddlers. I mean, just throw them all over your shoulder and they don't flinch. They think it's the most amazing experience ever. Take them and throw them up and watch what happens when they come down. Fear <clears throat> immediately. I mean, without a second thought, it's like a knee jerk reaction. It hurts. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's happening. Gravity is calling us in that way. Now, we can talk about gravity and love in, in many different ways, but this is why I say if we really examine the words we use for things that we begin to describe or own, we understand that falling in love is also like looking for gravity to call for you. And in a loving space, is that what you want? For right. you know, for gravity to call <laughs> upon you, because when gravity is unyielding, it is unforgiving, right? We talked in the last podcast with Dre uh, about you know how laws suspend one another at certain times, but the law doesn't move because it's suspended, right? The the law of thrust and flight and speed, right, suspends us from gravity. But let the plane run out of air, let the propeller stop working, and see won't gravity come back into play? really fast and really quickly, such is the case with love. And that's a fact. The moment you begin to feel, no longer feel the butterflies, right? The moment it no longer feels good being equated to your propeller, your gas, right? The speed that was lifted to take the momentum off for the relationship to start. Then now all of a sudden, oh my God, this hurts. This isn't love, what is this? Well, I would submit to you, I don't know that it ever was love. Right. 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 I don't know yeah, that it ever actually, was love. Huh? I'm yeah. sorry. This, this is Bradford, Bradford, mm -hmm. aka Jazzy. Um, you actually, I never thought about it that way. And you actually bring something into context for me because um, there, you know, when you say falling in love, right? Um, it, yeah, it doesn't make sense because there are really eight different types of love, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you think about, um, Familiar love, like the love that you have with your family. Do you fall in love with your mom or dad? You no. don't. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like love just is with that. Right. right. Yeah. I think that that's one of the points. I want you to continue, but just hearing mm. you say that, it sounds like love just is. And if we allow yeah. love to be what it is, then mm -hmm. we won't have to fall in love with it. We will be with it, right? And we, to Mondaro point, we will continue to grow with it. Mm -hmm. So not to cut you off, I'm sorry, but again, the points that's being made. 